everybody, welcome to Koala Cafe Shay. My name is Cafe Shay, and today it is Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Um, it probably won't be when I upload this, but it is today. So today I'm sharing 10 tips with you on how you can help save the environment. Our Earth is dying. It is going under ecological collapse, mostly due to the humans impacts on the climate and global warming, climate change release of CO2 into the atmosphere which is creating this greenhouse gas effect. I'm not going to explain it all but these are really simple tips and I've chosen ones that most young people can do because that is my target audience. Um, obviously there are loads of other ways that we as little people can work towards this um, preventing this future. The first tip is to eat less meat and dairy. I'm not saying to go vegan because a lot of the time that's quite hard for young people to do if they're not cooking for themselves. Ways that you can do this is by, you don't necessarily have to like go automatically vegetarian. Um, I don't understand that it's hard for people and it is the kind of thing that you need to plan. You cannot just do it overnight. You do need to plan what you're gonna do. You need to plan your meals. You need to plan what things you can buy. You need to research, not vegetarian or plant-based outside of your house. So if you go to a restaurant a lot, or if you go to um, like school or something, only have vegetarian or vegan packed lunches or uh, dinners or school meals. The second tip is to buy secondhand or vintage. I actually love secondhand clothing. This this is secondhand. I I didn't even plan that. Part of that tip is also to donate. So once you're done with your clothes, I did this a lot when I was growing up because obviously you never stay in the same size for long. So once you're done with your clothes, donate it to the charity store, donate it to your cousins, donate it to your younger siblings, just pass it on. You can thrift your clothes, you can have a car boot sale so you can get money back if you want to. So another tip which is, you probably heard it quite a lot, um, it's quite difficult to avoid in today's world is to try cut down, cut out if you can, but cut down on single use plastics. These single use plastics often end up in the ocean where marine life, uh, turtles, fish, stuff like that, whales are eating these plastics thinking that they are food like jellyfish and stuff like that and it's actually clogging up their guts and they end up choking and dying um, so it's not that fun say no to a straw for example at a restaurant that's not that hard recycle the plastic okay so the next two are about transport traditionally people say global warming and they associate it with cars trains planes and stuff like that so yes they are huge contributors I think carefully about how we're using transport and what is the most effective way to travel. For example, carpooling. Do this all the time. If you need to go somewhere and so does your friend, instead of taking two cars, which is like using double the petrol and releasing double the amount of greenhouse gases, say, hey, do you want a carpool? Alternatively, look into taking the train with your friend maybe, or just by yourself. If you have shorter distances to travel, maybe instead of taking the car, you can try to walk, cycle, scooter. It is better just to walk to school. I, sometimes I take my scooter to school or I could cycle to school and it's just so much easier and better than using a car which you don't need to take to school if it's just right there. Um, obviously if you're far then that's understandable. Um, even using the bus, that could help because you're not like having loads of people taking the car by themselves. Okay, the next tip is the simplest thing you can do. Don't litter. So simple, simple. So if you're walking around on the street, you have eaten a packet of crisps, you got this crisp packet in your hand and you're finished and you're like, what do I do with this? I've got this crisp packet in my hand. Some people would just go, ah, on the pavement. 
But a better solution than that is literally just fold up the crisp packet or just scrunch it up if you want. Pop it in your pocket, pop it in your bag, just hold it in your hand until you get to a bin. Trust me, it makes, it's so simple, so simple. But it makes such a big difference than just leaving it on the floor. Okay, so tied onto that is to reuse or upcycle your old things. So this glass can either be thrown in the recycling bin, thrown in the normal bin, or you could use it as like a flower vase thing. Next tip is something you can do with your parents or your guardian and it may be a little bit more difficult but it's to help make a food plan. A lot of food miles and energy and time that is wasted making that food and it's just going in the bin. So if you make a food plan you know exactly what you're going to eat on a certain days then it's a bit easier to shop. The next tip I have is to use reusable items. So this water bottle that I have is it's very battered because I use it a lot. It is metal, or you can have a plastic water bottle or a glass water bottle, whatever, as long as it's not single use plastic. Um, and if you just carry this around, fill up your water bottle instead of buying a plastic water bottle, it helps to cut down your plastic consumption. Second thing you can do is use a reusable bag so this I got free uh, from somewhere when I've got quite a few tote bags that I got free from university open days that I've been to and you just take them shopping with you you take them to the grocery store whenever you need a bag instead of using a plastic bag which might go into the ocean and kill turtles get a nice little reusable cloth one another reusable thing is a flask so this is actually a reusable plastic flask I have got metal ones as well, um, literally just put your drink in. But my penultimate tip is one that you've probably heard from primary school, literally just to switch off plugs. So plugs, if they're not in use, suck up a lot of unnecessary energy. Okay, my final tip is regarding water consumption. So that is to take shorter showers or to take a shower instead of a bath. So I think five minute shower they suggest. I find it hard to tell how long I'm in the shower. So maybe you can put a timer on if you want or just count. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video and not just that, I hope it has been helpful. Um, but again, as I said, they're supposed to be simple and things that young people can do. You shouldn't need a lot of money to do it, but a lot of them are quite cost effective. It is all of our home. It's not just my home. It's not just Gary, my next door neighbor's home. It is all of our homes. So make sure we take care of it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe because I do genuinely think that this video will help other people and will help our earth. If you have any questions or I want to ask some more details or maybe want to ask some facts, test my knowledge, comment them down below or check out or DM me on Instagram which I will also link below and yeah that's it see you later bye